came to the right place to learn how to make some hummus with dry beans from scratch. Hummus is the easiest thing in the world to make. I make it all the time, at least once a week. You're gonna start with these beans, any, well, any dried chickpeas, and you're just gonna measure out one cup of the dried beans and soak them. Uh, eight hours is usually fine. You can do longer if you want. A little less is fine too. If you can't, if you don't have time to soak them for some reason, um, you can always do that with a quick uh, pressure cook as well. So after the eight hours, you can just go ahead and drain the beans. And they're gonna look the same. Just drain them out and add fresh water. And then you're going to Uh, go ahead and add them to the pressure cooker. I use the instant pot. I'm a big fan. Go ahead and add the beans and set it up for pressure cook at 11 minutes. Or if you have a preferred amount of time, go for it. With the basic ingredients. Now here comes the fun part. This is the assembly. Garlic. So what I do is start with the garlic, the and then add some tahini, about a quarter cup. Measuring's not a big deal. I use about, I would say about a quarter cup. Um, I actually made hummus the other day and forgot the you can use uh, tahini, and it was it was like wasn't that bad. It actually this. does hold together. I, I um, but the hummus two, is three. better with some tahini. It just makes it. Um, um, you can always put more, uh, add more. Add it gives it that nuttiness more. that's really nice. <clears throat> and it has magnesium as well, all the sesame then, seeds. Um, so then you know what, I, the what I do is add, squeeze the lemon. And this is all right in the work bowl. You don't have to use extra <clears throat> utensils or anything. I do use a juice squeezer. Careful not to get the seeds. And here I'm just cutting some parsley and I'm gonna go ahead and puree that just until it's a pretty much an even consistency I'd say don't puree it too much and then you're just gonna go ahead and puree it uh, check for the consistency like I said you might have to stir it with a spatula and work down some of the look, some of the wonderful um, dressing and add. kind of push yeah. it down into the blades. Now we're going to add the beans that are already cooked. <clears throat> I usually add a little of the liquid too from the, from the beans. You don't have to though. Sometimes you have to play around with the liquid a little bit, but just um, just puree it, get it the consistency you want. If you need to add a little more lemon juice or a little more, um, I like to add a little parsley toward the end, extra parsley. Um, you can always add some of the liquid from the beans too. You'll kind of know when, you, when you've got the right consistency that you like. You can play around with the olive oil as well, which makes, um, makes it nice and rich. And the best part, of course, is when you get to taste it and see, see, see how good it is. See the sample the goodness. Woohoo! Doesn't need anything.